Good morning, everyone, and happy Thursday. It is Julie here with your Tip Ranks pre-market morning update, where we're bringing you everything you need to know before the market opens. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back. Thank you all so much for being here and happy September 1st. This morning, we'll be taking a look at exciting stock market news, notable earnings reports, and the morning's biggest gainers and losers. If you wanna stay up to date on the markets and access all of your favorite research tools on the go, make sure that you've downloaded the TipRanks mobile app on your Android or Apple devices. The links are in the description down below. Now let's get right into this morning's exciting stock market news. U.S. stock futures are in the red this morning. Currently, Dow futures are down 0.54%, S&P 500 futures down 0.63%, and Nasdaq futures down 0.83%. Shares of NVIDIA are falling after they said that they were told by the U.S. government to stop selling chips in China and Russia. NVIDIA said that the U.S. government told the company about a new license requirement for future exports to China, including Hong Kong, to reduce the risk that the products may be used by the Chinese military. They will be applying for a license to continue some Chinese exports, but do not know whether the U.S. government will grant an exception. The company is expecting that they could lose $400 million in potential sales in China in this current quarter after previously forecasting revenue of $5.9 billion. While the rule does apply to Russia as well, they said that they don't have any paying customers there. The stock is currently rated a strong buy from analysts with an average upside of 42%. Bed Bath & Beyond continued to fall yesterday after announcing their turnaround strategy. The overall reaction was that it's not enough. Many expected Bed Bath & Beyond to spin off their bye-bye baby business after activist investor Ryan Cohen suggested it could be worth several billion dollars. But this was not part of the news. Bed Bath & Beyond said that they would be closing about 150 of their lower producing stores, slashing costs by shrinking headcount by 20%, and trying to strengthen the balance sheet with their more than $500 million in new financing. Analysts currently rate their stock a strong sell with an average downside of nearly 63%. And Chinese electric vehicle delivery reports are out. And of course, with shutdowns in China amid COVID, some declines were expected. But Li Auto had the biggest year-over-year -year decline. Li Auto saw their deliveries decline 52% year-over-year, coming in at 4,571. Xpeng's results were a bit better, but still declined 17% year-over-year, delivering 9,578 cars while NEO actually saw some year-over-year -year growth, delivering 10,677 vehicles in August. Now moving over to notable earnings reports. In the pre-market this morning, we'll be hearing earnings reports from Sienna Corporation, Campbell Soup, and Signet Jewelers. Already in the pre-market this morning, we heard from Hormel Foods. Their earnings and revenue came in fairly in line with expectations. Looking forward, they did cut earnings guidance, but increased revenue forecasts. Their earnings per share of 40 cents was just shy of the estimated 41 cents, while revenue of 3 billion was in line with analyst estimates. For fiscal 2022, they're expecting earnings per share of $1.78 to $1.85 on revenue of $12.2 to $12.8 billion. Previous guidance was earnings of $1.87 to $1.97 on a revenue of $11.7 to $12.5 billion. The stock is currently rated a hold by analysts with a slight downside of 1.4%. In the after hours last night, we heard from Okta. They posted better than expected results and lifted their future guidance. However, the stock is falling this morning after they announced that they're having trouble integrating some of the software from an acquisition back in 2021. The company posted revenue of $452 million, which was up 43% year-over-year. On an adjusted base, they lost $16 million, or $0.10 cents per share, better than the expected loss of $0.31. Cents. The CEO said that it was kind of a mixed quarter for the company, as they have robust demand from the public sector and U.S. government, but that they're also having issues with the integration of AuthO, particularly in blending their sales team with the core Okta sales staff. Analysts currently rate the Okta stock a moderate buy with an average upside of over 44%. We also heard from C3AI. Their stock is falling after they slashed their revenue forecasts and said they would be changing up their business model. 
They reported revenue of $65.3 million, which was up 25% year-over-year. On an adjusted base, they lost $0.12 cents per share in the quarter when analysts were expecting a loss of $0.24. Cents. But they did slash their revenue outlook going forward, now seeing revenue of $60 to $62 million, below the consensus of nearly $72 million. The company did say that they will shift their business to a consumption-based pricing model and away from a subscription model. The stock is currently rated a hold with an average downside of nearly 4%. And we heard from MongoDB. Their stock is also falling this morning after the company said they're expecting a wider than expected loss for 2023. For the fiscal year, they're now expecting an adjusted loss of 28 to 35 cents per share, wider than their previously estimated loss of 16 to 31 cents per share. For this quarter, they did post better than expected results, having an adjusted loss of 23 cents, narrower than the estimated loss of 28 cents, and sales of 303.7 million, above analyst expectations of 284 million. Analysts rate the MongoDB stock a strong buy with an average upside of 16%. In the after hours today, we'll be hearing from Lululemon, Smartsheet, Tilly's, and PagerDuty. Now let's take a look at which stocks are this morning's biggest gainers and losers. Our biggest gainers this morning are led by Nutanix after they posted better than expected results for their earnings. Trading under the ticker NTNX, the stock is up 15%. They're followed by Turquoise Hill Resources under TRQ, up over 12%, and Pure Storage under PSTG, up 6.8%. Our biggest losers this morning are led by MongoDB, following their lowered forecasts. Trading under the ticker MDB, their stock is currently down 16.5%. They're followed by Okta, who's actually been jumping back and forth with them tied for first. Under the ticker OKTA, they're down 16.6% right now. And Semtech under SMTC, down 15.5%. So that is going to be everything for Thursday's pre-market morning update, getting you up to speed with what you need to know before that opening bell. Don't forget to follow the links in the description down below to download the TipRanks mobile app. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you back here next time.